Hi there. I was reading the fall 2014 issue of UU World and I read the article by Reverend James Ford uh, <clears throat> about embracing the new universalism on page 16 and 17. It's a great article. Um, click on the link below and uh, read it. I, I think you'll be uh, edified. Basically what Reverend Ford uh, describes here is the idea that the first and seventh principle of Unitarian Universalism define who we are as a person and Reverend Ford points out that in our denomination Unitarian Universalism we don't require allegiance or compliance with any particular creed so people are free to believe what they like and he encourages us to draw from multiple religious sources an understanding of the seventh principle which is the respect for the interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part In A Course in Miracles, this is what they call the atonement or the at-one-ment. Back in my hippy-dippy days, we called it cosmic consciousness. In some religious traditions, they call it enlightenment. And uh, it is the true meaning of what Christians call salvation. If we are to achieve salvation we become one with the all. Dr. or Reverend Ford says that this appreciation for the interdependent web of all existence is the new universalism. And I tend to agree as we go about the global warming, the climate change, we could become more and more aware of our utter dependence on Mother Nature and what some people call Gaia, uh, which is the planet Earth, uh, a biosphere of which all living things and non-living things have a part and increasingly more religious traditions are understanding that we need to be good stewards of our ecology and to disrespect any parts of the independent web is to sin. I want to thank Dr. Or Reverend Ford for his article Embracing a New Universalism and I highly recommend it to you. Have a good day. God bless you. And God bless our earth and the whole universe, which of course is an extension of God's creative love. <laughs>